it's Mina. Welcome back to my channel. Or if this is the very first video that you're seeing of me, then welcome to my channel. Please be sure to hit the subscribe button down below if you didn't already. I post every day of the week for all. And today in this video, I'm going to talk about cable needle substitutes. Now, for those who don't know what cables are, they're a type of twist um, you can do in knitting. It's a really cool technique. So I'm going to show you guys some of my stuff that I've made in cable. And here it is. This is my cable and edelweiss slouchy beanie as you can see it's slouchy on the side it's my cable and edelweiss slouchy beanie and then this is my diana infinity scarf these are both with cables and knitted and cabling is how you cabling is a way is how you twist the knitting to give it this really cool effect so it's a really awesome effect I love doing cables so if you're a beginner I suggest avoid cables until you've gotten the hang of like the basic knit stitches like knitting and purling but if you would like to try out cables go ahead they're super fun to do they are just they take a lot they are really fun to do they get pretty easy the more you understand them the only thing is they have to be divided mainly into sets of two in order for the cable to work out they sometimes can be divided in odd but it kind of depends on the cable and the pattern pattern and um to do the cables you have to have like a cable needle and now there are times that you may not have a cable needle on hand so i'm going to show you guys a couple substitutes for um, a cable needle. So if you don't have a cable needle on hand, that is totally okay. I mean, I've seen um, some people are, that are able to work without a cable needle and that is amazing. I cannot do that. Um, I know, I see a girl on YouTube, her name is Megan Brightwood. I'll leave a link to two of her knitting videos which involve cables down in the description box below. She is amazing. She is able to cable without a cable needle needle i cannot do that i think it's super hard hard to cable so cable needles you can just buy at the local craft store like hobby lobby michaels and joann's or if you have another craft store store with a different name in your country let me know down in the comments below so but that's where you can get them you can also buy them on amazon and stuff but i'm not sure how much they are but these are the cable this is the cable needle that i have this is my only cable needle i think i had another one a long time ago but i have no idea where it went and stuff and I was super happy I got this last year because it was given to me along with a set of whole bunch of knitting needles with from a friend that I knew that I knew and I was super happy to get it because I love cabling and I've always wanted to try working with a regular with a cable needle because I've been doing cables for years but I've been doing it with a double pointed needle so anyway I'm gonna get started showing you guys all the substitutes you can use for a cable needle one thing you can use is a regular double pointed needle. This is what I used when I first started doing cables because I didn't have a cable needle at the time and I was watching somebody do cabling on YouTube. Um, she was making a honeycomb hat and she was able to cable with a double pointed needle which made it super easy. And um, her, her video is called the honeycomb hat and I'll link her video down below if you have not seen it. And um, she was able, to, she used a double pointed needle because she didn't have a cable needle on hand. And these come in handy because they have both have two points and it'd be easy to get your stitches off because with cabling, you have to get your stitches off, off in order to twist it back onto the needle. Next I have is a stitch holder. These come in handy for if you also don't have a cable needle. One second. I apologize, I had to close the door to avoid distraction, distractions. And um, so a stitch holder is also good for a cable needle because it's got this little thing, clamp, you can open it so then you're, you can get your stitches off and then it makes it just easy to hold your stitches so then you don't have to worry about them falling off as you cable. Cable, the only downfall is, you, is it, like I said, it does have a clamp, but you just gotta remember to take them off from the clamp so then you remember to knit the stitches as you twist. Another good substitute I have right here is a pencil. So pencils are also great because they have like a thing where you can just slide your stitches off. I stop off. I've never used for cabled with a pencil before, but um, I've never cabled with a pencil before. Before, so um, I've only cabled like with a regular double pointed needle and a crochet hook. 
hook so it works just as well because you just slide them off and it makes them easy i do not recommend cabling with a regular knitting needle because it will be really hard to get the stitches off another one you can think you can use is a really big tapestry needle this is one of my biggest tapestry needles i have um because um it has like pretty much enough space to hold your stitches when you need to cable and usually with cabling when you're dividing your stitches you don't have that many stitches to put onto a cable needle so this might come in handy for you you can also use a smaller um smaller tapestry needle but i don't know if that would work because i've never tried it before and like i said i've never tried i've only done a double pointed needle but this also would work really well in case you don't have another of a double pointed needle on hand Another thing you can use is a crochet hook. Now, I saw somebody on YouTube cable with a crochet hook because she liked doing it better than a cable needle. Needle, And some people, I think, would prefer using crochet hooks because cable needles might be a little bit hard to get the stitches off because you got to twist it in order to get the... You, it'll cable needles usually sit like this when you are working with them but you got to like slide them this way so then you can get the stitches off because it's a little hard to get the stitches off when it's upside down. Down. And a crochet hook, some people may find easier just because it's just straight and it's easier just to slide the stitches off. Off and um, I like I said, I did see somebody like Christine from I Knits use this when she was making mittens, and I'll leave a link to her video of her making the Bella mittens down below. And it's just easy, just because it's straight, and then you can just like work the cable, well um. And you could just work the cable just off and it just makes it easier to slide on because sometimes these do get stuck but they um but i'm able to work it really well because i slide it off from this side which is straight okay you never want to knit cables from um the middle part because it's harder to get off so those are all my cable needle substitutes i hope you guys enjoyed the video thank you so much for watching please be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already i post every day of the week for on i'll see you everybody soon bye